my own biomechanics. I had to address the way that I sat. I had to address the way that I stood. I had to address so many of my biomechanical dysfunctions while I was not training. That's the key. Everybody thinks it's while you're training or while you're active. It's while you're, you're not active. It's your everyday life that throws off your biomechanics and results in compromising your muscular structure. Muscles are designed to create structural integrity. Now the definition of structural integrity is a structure's uncompromised ability to safely resist the load placed upon it. So ultimately we have to rely on our, our structural integrity, the muscles, to allow us to remain injury free or to allow our biomechanics to be proper throughout life. If you think about it, in order to have structural integrity, you have to have a sound foundation. We see that foundation as full functionality in the foot. A foot that can support the weight of the body, no matter what the circumstances. Once the body's foundation is compromised and the knees go forward and the butt goes back, that's when the body is counteracting the weight distribution of the upper body. Now follow me here for a minute so that you can understand it. Back to the foundation, the foot. Once you lose range of motion with the foot, once the soleus muscle gets tight and forces you to lose dorsiflexion in the foot, that's when the knees are forced to go forward. Now once the knees go forward, the anterior tibialis, the muscle on the front of the leg, in the shin, is going to become overworked as well, giving you an unstable platform for the knee, forcing the butt to go back. Now, as the butt goes back, the quads are going to become tight. And as they grow tight, they're going to pull from the patella, but ultimately they're going to pull down on the pelvis, forcing that pelvic tilt to occur even more dramatically. And as the pelvis tilts, we try to create that structurally sound platform. So the body tries to lift upright. And as we lift upright, we, we compress the L4-5 area that much more. The more compression we build into the L4-5 area, the more compromise we're going to see with a neurological pathway to the lower extremities. As I stated before, and you'll hear me say it again, once the quads get tight, they're going to pull down on the pelvis. As the pelvis starts to tilt, this is when the IT band and the hamstring are going to lengthen past their capacity. But this is also when a muscle called your psoas is going to get involved. Now the psoas is a muscle that connects in your groin up to T12 in the middle of your back. So what it's going to do is it's going to compress the L4-5 area, the lower back. But once it leans the body in front of the pelvis, it's not only going to have the ability to cut off the diaphragm, limiting your ability to breathe, it's also going to create this incredible weight distribution issue, bringing the upper body in front of the pelvis. Therefore, we're going to have to bring that pelvis back to a center spot, a seated spot, to allow the IT band and the hamstrings to go back to their original length. Now the piriformis muscle, the piriformis is a muscle deep set within the, the glute region. And what happens is the more the, the psoas muscle gets tight, the more the pelvis starts to tilt. When you go to sit, the knees are going to want to splay out to the side. Now as the knees splay out to the side, the piriformis muscle then is able to bind up and go into spasm. So as soon as you stand up to try to walk, the knees are going to come back in front of the body and the piriformis muscle itself is going to revolt, therefore causing a lot of pain and discomfort in the general area. Now the reason it's the general area is because the sciatic nerve runs right through the piriformis muscle. So of course, if the piriformis muscle is jeopardized, then it's going to compromise the neurological feed to the lower extremity. You've got to remember that every bone has a muscle that surrounds it. And every joint has a muscle and a tendon that supports it. So if we do not create the elasticity within the muscle, general pain is going to be the result.